right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose? Chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, hold turn on, on hold worse on. Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? <coughs> Anybody? <coughs> well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just... Let's hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey there. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Just looking for love, sweetheart. <laughs> Boy, have you come to the wrong place. My loving days have long since passed. But I'll tell you what, wise ass. You made an old girl smile, and that ain't easy. You want to do some trading? I'll give you a discount. I don't need anything. Then leave me alone. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, Scabber. You stop waving that gun in my... Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, all right? Just don't do anything crazy. Now hand over your money. All of it. Just keep calm, all right? Here. Right. I'm calling it right here. This world can officially bite my ass. Hey, we all got problems, all right? I'm just trying to collect on what's owed to me. Don't suppose you feel like helping us out. We'd use an extra gun, or maybe you talk some sense into truth. I'll talk to her. Maybe. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. Hi. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well? I want to help you, Trudy. Get rid of Wolfgang. Wolfgang and I had a deal. If I'm going to back out on it, I'll need more. Okay. I'll make it 125 caps. Come on. Don't make me think twice about this. I'll pay you 150 caps then. Did you see how mad Wolfgang is? He's a maniac. Don't make me a real offer. All right, killer. It's 200 caps.
All right, Trudy. I'll get rid of him. Thank you. You crossed the wrong way. Hmm? Yes? Hey there. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Just looking for love, sweetheart. <laughs> Boy, if you can... Uh -huh. But I'll tell you what, wise ass. Gonna pass. Maybe next time. <sighs> we had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Whoa, whoa. You stop waving that gun in my face. Okay, okay, just take it easy. Now hand over your money. All of it. Just keep calm, all right? Sure. Here. I'm calling it right here. Hey, we all got problems. Uh -huh. Don't suppose you feel like helping us out. We'd use an extra gun, or maybe you talk some sense into Trudy over there. Uh-huh. If I help. And I'd love to pay you, but you took all my money, remember? I'll talk to her. Maybe. I appreciate it. I'm the muscle thing. <laughs> Just don't piss me off, all right? Excuse me. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well? Right. I want to help you, Trudy. What can I do? Get rid of Wolfgang. I don't know what he offered you, but I'll pay you a hundred caps to kill that jet selling scumbag. Wolfgang and I had it. Okay. I'll make it 125 caps. Come on. Don't make me think twice about this. I'll pay you 150 caps then. Did you see how mad Wolfgang is? He's a maniac. Don't make me a real offer. All right, killer. It's 200. All right, Trudy. I'll get rid of it. Thank you. I'll back you up from- Uh-huh. You crossed the wrong way. Ma! Ma! Take cover! <sighs> <laughs> I can't wait to see the crows feeding us. Not right now. Hey there. I can rest easy knowing that Wolfgang is rotten and... Right. Not to...
Didn't take long. You hear that? Intruder alert!
Eliminate them! Send them back to hell! Send them. Let's show them how the Brotherhood does it! Hey there. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Pest exterminator. I heard you had a feral problem. Evading my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself ejected from the compound. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I help you fight those ferals. You make a fair point. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. That all depends. How much are you paying? So you're a mercenary. Typical. Fine. You help us, and I'll see you're compensated for your services. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep-range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? It's a good plan, if we make it back. I can assure you that I wouldn't undertake this mission unless I had confidence in your abilities. Halen, take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming.
What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boo. I'm sorry, but... Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ugh! You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> open this gate right now! You. You want into Diamond City, right?
No, not really. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. No need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Piper, who let you back inside? I Head told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. Uh, you devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Newspapers just like to stir up trouble. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? This hasn't been the friendliest welcome. He's got you there, McDonough. Guess not everyone gets won over by that shark smile of yours. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Just looking for something? Oh, uh, what is it you're looking for? An infant boy. Kidnapped. Did you say kidnapped? Well, McDonough, Diamond City Security gonna investigate this? How about all the other kidnapping reports you've been- no, Don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Great. Thanks for nothing. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any kidnapping? I've had enough, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Right. <laughs> you see. Hmm, a big Diamond City Hello, welcome from the mayor. Hello, you feel honored Street. yet? I'm going for Look, I gotta minutes. go get I'm settled right in, now. but, um, I'm gonna go. Stop by my office later. I take, like, a maybe, like, two minutes. I have like, an idea for an article you'd be perfect pee? for. But, I'm gonna learn where Valentine is. I mean, I don't, I've never played this game before. You see, I'm kind of just trying to be rude and sarcastic in this place. Because so, I'm, I'm no more You're that play. traitor, Piper. Uh-huh. So, I wasn't lying. I wasn't lying. I got a whole supply train coming in tomorrow. Is that right? Now give me your no money. Boy. Well, if that's Money. It, let me put it down. Here you go. Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Sure. 
My boy Sean's been kidnapped. My boy has been He's just a baby. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now, and we can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? I just need a little information, Danny. Hello, me, we Danny. can keep this off the record. Okay. I can at least point you somewhere. Unofficially. When you get inside the city, go to the back, around the market, to an alleyway. There's a couple of bright neon signs. Valentine's Detective Agency. No one likes going there, though, so buyer beware and all that. A private eye in the ruins of the ballpark. Hmm, makes total sense. Not sure I get what you're driving at. Why don't you just move along? Hey. Yeah, so, got a question? I think what I might do is I might end the stream right here. You know, where this is a pretty good checkpoint. Because, because I don't want to do what I do in all my other streams. All my other streams I just record until I just don't want to play the game anymore. Like, Dark Souls 2, like, my first ever streams, that was, like, horrible, because, like, the stream was, like, five hours long, so I think I might do checkpoints. Like, what I was doing in, in Dark Souls 3, I was doing, like, every area. So, I'm gonna end the stream, uh, I don't think I'm gonna stream all that, it's 7 p.m. right now. So, I think I'm just gonna bed. I'm tired. I didn't go to sleep last night, so. I'll see you guys in the next one. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs>